21-0 lead in the first quarter. Cole standing tall. He's got a man open, but overshoots just a bit as he was going for Scott Bracey, the transfer from Duke. Chat about them. So a second down, a third down it is. Here's a snap through the end zone, and there should be a safety for the Dukes. Indeed it is. So the first points on the board come by the defense. And back to the action we go. Here's a quick pass out here to Bracey, making his third catch as a Duke. He had two last weekend. Long way to go to get it this way. It's a six, a fourth, and a nine. Johnson will go for it. He's going to run with it. And he, does he get it? It's going to be really close. The ball looks like it may have come loose, too, according to what Robert Morris is saying. And going down, but it's just a matter of... But short of the line to gain. First down, Robert Morris. Okay, so he is short of the line to gain, so that stops that streak of successive four tied one here to the short side of the field the give is to the running back and heading to the outside it's Jackson he eludes a tackler up to the 40 and coming in he's tripped up as he gets just across the 40 yard line and he'll actually get down at the 40 Martin from the shotgun takes the snap looks to his right that's where he's going overthrows his intended target setting up a fourth and ten as four minutes to go opening quarter Cole Johnson fakes the handoff now the pass and it is picked off a little underthrown at the 30 yard line on his way to the 20 bumps into a man and now is drug down from behind at the 12 and coming up with a pick is Aaron Green a sophomore linebacker Martin faking the handoff looking over the middle he's going to scramble out looks back against the grain here comes some pursuit and he is hit as he loses the football going out of bounds the Saglia and they do punch it through in his JMU rushing career. And that was uh, sporadic last year. Another interception and heading to the end zone for Robert Morris and not quite there. Let's see, does he get in? No, I think they're going to spot him down at the one yard line. The only back that they've used thus far. He will take the handoff and he is hit at the line of scrimmage, but his surge might be good enough to get into the end zone. And it is not a surprise. Biseglia. And a flag comes out, probably something with dealing with the formation, I would imagine, as Tucker Dorsey comes up with a tackle to end the yeah, No sun in his eyes at this point from this angle. Let's see. Souter, and Actually. see he's protecting it. And he is hit right away. And he is fortunate to hang on to the football. And he is going to take the blow, but a penalty marker down. Waving or just, well, there he does yeah, call he for the fair catch at the end. Yes. Well, stand corrected. The sun was in his eyes. Kick catch interference. Kicking team number 26. After the 15 yard penalty, Cole Johnson fakes the handoff, rolls out, throws down the field. He's got Thornton into the end zone. Goes Chris Thornton with his second touchdown as a Duke. And hopefully that'll give an injection of confidence to Cole Johnson. In many ways, they're trying to utilize his skill. Underneath, there's Hicks again, and the former Cowboy picks up a first down. Nine midway through this uh, second quarter of play. Here comes the blitz. Passes off, and it is caught. And eluding a tackle, first of all, Devin Robinson on his five catches. Seems like it's more than that. And the handoff, it is to Jackson, and he gains the first down yardage of football. Stepping back, Martin waiting for the play to develop, throws over the middle, and it is caught in, pulled in by one hand. What a grab for Jerry Hanks Jr., a redshirt senior, and he recaptures the lead for Robert Morris. Yeah, Martin could have you know, had a cup of coffee through that against man coverage. Tremendous catch by the receiver. He had two that were on the coverage for the Dukes. Johnson plenty time throws it deep and battled for and it is picked off the third interception for Cole Johnson Florida for former Charlotte 49er white came was able to come down with it back to pass Martin airs it out receiver making the catch and Jay Hampton on the coverage Martin back to pass again and nobody home as he goes to the pylon. But nobody had dialed it up down there on the fourth down play. So the Dukes will take over. 
Maybe establish some tempo again. Johnson will throw it once again. Flips it out this time. It's caught. Steps out of bounds quickly. That's Kendall Dean with the reception for the Dukes. Johnson takes the snap. Flares it out the opposite way. And this pass is caught on the far side. As they go back to the line of scrimmage. Down and five. That was more to preserve clock. Here's Johnson again. He's going to run with it one more time. And he takes a hit, but keeps on ticking as he is dropped at the 21-yard line. Dean slightly in motion, so they stack the receivers right side. Johnson leaves it, and his his man out on the outside, going to the end zone and into the score. Touchdown, James Madison University. Antoine Wells, a freshman from Richmond, Virginia, out of Highland Springs. No back in our direction. And the pitch inside. There's a good call. And bouncing it outside is Percy J. Obase as he'll pick up the first down. Good start to start the second half. Passing this time is Johnson. He's got a man wide open. It's Kendall Dean this time as he eludes a couple of tacklers and lunges forward, gets dropped down at the 34-yard line. And he on the wide receiver. It's Thornton. And handoff goes to Hamilton, cuts it to the inside. Good move. And he's taken down at the 19-yard line this time. Cheatham will go in motion. Handoff fakes to Percy. Rolling out. Cole Johnson flips it out. That's Cheatham. Cheatham at the 10. Lowers his shoulders and takes it inside the 5-yard line. I think Ajay Obase to the 50, uh, 5, that is. Spins and turns into the end zone. Nice little jump side cut that was for Percy Ajay Obase. Martin with a lone setback. High snap turns and hands it off to... Jackson steps outside, ball is loose, and the Dukes have recovered at the 12-yard line. What a hit. What a, an alert reaction. Dorian Jackson just trying to extend the play. Jackson with a nice cut, but a huge hit by Hampton and the recovery. I mean, great play, great awareness. Well, Hampton, Kendall, here to the right, going that direction and behind Kendall with 59 career chippers, and he gets that one. So number 60 for Radke as he moves up one more slot. That's a, it's a, we'll call it a long eight. This is Thornton pulling it in and finds a bit of a seam to the sideline. He picks up a Ergie's cheesesteak first down at the 45. Duke's swift tempo. Cole fires here to the near side. Nice catch. Yes, he does bring it in. That is Kendall Dean once again for JMU. Back to action here at Bridge Forest Stadium. They hand off, popping to the outside. There goes Juwan Hamilton to the 20, to the 15, and driven out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. First and goal for the Dukes. Hand off, no faking it. Here's Cole Johnson. He is hit as before he gets a chance to turn into the backfield. 26 yards out. There's the hold. And yes, it is through there. So field goal number 61. Mark, we need it to, you know, come back from down 21. Here comes a sack and down in the backfield, our second sack this afternoon for the JMU defense. And sack of the day and another high snap and they're just going to fall on the football if they can get it. Looks like Robert Morris does maintain possession. Shroba standing inside and that's a that's a foul. That's uh, yep. You're going to get the penalty flag coming out as trying to dosey do out there getting wrapped up. Jonathan Wynn, to me, was the pivot point of that season. Yeah. Uh, that that gave the Dukes a 20 to 13 lead. Down in two with 3:21 remaining. And jumping in, here comes Percy Jose. Open say finds a seam and he's into the. End zone for another touchdown, his third of the season, the 23rd of his career. And